Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's What You Working On Wednesday. I wanted to share something with you real quick. I shared it on my Facebook group, but I know a lot of people aren't on there. But anyways, I, I uh, commissioned a local artist here who paints uh, pictures on like storefront windows and stuff. Uh, I don't know if other cities do that, but in our area it's pretty cool. You know, popular, like people paint their windows for the seasons. Anyways, um, she was talking about on her Facebook how she makes uh, window pane paintings for people so I was like yeah I want one of those <laughs> so I bought one from her uh, I taught her what I wanted and she made it and I thought it was gonna be way smaller than it is um, so I had a place in there where my yarn is I was gonna put it but now because I got it and it's ginormous I have absolutely no idea where I'm gonna put it <laughs> I don't want to hang it on the wall either because we live in an apartment and it's heavy so I don't want to damage the wall and also don't want Jesse to get squished by it if it falls but, uh, yeah, so here it is. I'm going to share. There might be a window glare. I can't find a good position to show it to you guys at. But there it is. It is huge. Like, here's me for size. I am sitting on my butt, but still. <laughs> I think it's like a 3x3 three three, uh, window. So it just says, no kitchen name, and it's got really cute yarn. I love that she did this one, like a heart. It does have a crochet hook and some knitting needles poking out. Uh, she gave it to me just clear, you know. I did put the purple fabric on the background and I put hot pink yarn around the um edges of it just to make it look cuter yeah anyways I just want to share that with you real quick but for uh what you're working on Wednesday I actually started a new whip I started this last night while watching 48 hours <laughs> um I love true crime and like murder mystery shows which I noticed is a theme here in the crafting community but uh, that's cool anyways so I started a new scrap project I uh I still have a ton of scrap I actually can show you they're right here in the living room I brought them in here there's my two things that, these are scrap balls that have clips on them to keep them together and these are the wild ones that don't have any clips on them around like hair clips <laughs> so um they're just sitting there I brought they usually stay in my yarn room area but I brought them here last night because I was digging through them I had to make a few projects and uh start this blanket but it was this blanket and it's a really simple blanket it's just a double crochet blanket I don't even know how many I foundation double crocheted I just did it and you know I kept like stopping and checking it on myself to get a good light blanket size uh, I guess I could go back and count them eventually but I'm not worried about it right now and I'm just going back and forth in double crochet but what I'm doing is I'm holding two scrap balls together uh, a dark color and a light color is what I decided to do I've seen other people do that I think um, who used to do that all the time I can't remember now off the top of my head who used to do that all the time but I'm just trying to use up these scrap balls and um, I know a lot of people use their scrap balls for amigurumis, and I do too, but uh, I also have my solid color wall in there you guys have seen behind in a lot of uh, videos. That's my amigurumi yarn. <laughs> that whole wall of just solid color, like red hearts and stuff like that, that's what I use for amigurumis. And I constantly keep that stocked up. Like the other day, I bought some browns for it. So um, it's not a big deal if I use all my scrap balls, and I really just get tired of them setting <laughs> in the floor waiting to be used. So here's my blanket so far. I started holding it together yesterday <laughs> and uh you can't really tell because the pink is like really blown out but the dark color is like a gray i think it's red heart um charcoal i used it recently for something and i believe this is the leftover ball from it and then this is um hot pink which is what i was using that that was a full ball i used probably three-fourths of it wrapping that thingy <laughs> And then I had a, a, a bigger scrap ball, this size of this, and then there was a knot, so I cut it out. And then there was a smaller scrap ball, which is what I used for this. So that is all the pink of that ball. There's still a lot of the gray, which is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another light color out of there and hold it together with the gray and, you know, crochet until whichever one runs out. And there's a lot of the gray, so the gray might last for a while. <laughs> but uh, it's a scrap blanket. I don't care if it looks kind of weird. Um, a lot of people in my family like just having throws around, so if I don't keep it for us to hear, hear, hear to use, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I will give it to one of my family members and, um, or donate it because I know a lot of people, like in the process of making scrap blankets, a lot of people don't like them, but then when they're just out and laying around, a lot of people do, um, compliment on them because, uh, you know, it's, it's like any piece of art. <laughs> uh, it looks kind of weird at first and you're like, I don't know where that person's going with that. And then when it's done, it's like, oh yeah, I see it now. <laughs> so, um. I'm excited about it. I like having projects like this uh, laying around to do in between my other projects. Good, um, like if we're watching movies or something, I can just work on this because it's just double crochet over and over and over again. And uh, yeah, I'm using a K hook. I was gonna use a J hook, but my J hook is somewhere. 
well, I have multiple J-hooks, but the, I had one of my hook bags with me on the couch. <laughs> and I did not have a J-hook in that hook bag. I have three hook bags. And plus, I have a little pocket here with hooks in it. And I, and I was too lazy to get up. So, I just like I was like, well, I'll just use K. <laughs> and it's working out good. I like it. I don't know if I'll put a border on it or not. I, it just really depends on what it looks like. <laughs> but, yeah. So, it's just my kind of mindless project in between other things. So, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are working on today or this week. And feel free to leave any links or anything like that um, down there to, for people to check out uh, patterns. So this is probably going to be sitting in my living room. I need to get a project bag for it and uh, just leave it sitting around and work on it whenever. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. I hope you guys are having a good day. It's actually, it's finally warming up here. Yesterday it was in the 60s. Today it's supposed to get to 64. And according to my phone's weather app, <laughs> it's going to be in the 50s for the next like 10 days is how far it goes up. But, like, eight of those days, it's going to be raining. But I'm okay, as long as it's not snow. And none of the temperatures are below freezing, even the nighttime temperatures. So, I'm super excited. I'm hoping that winter is finally over here. I live in Middle Tennessee, and we normally don't get very much of a winter at all. So, this year's been kind of crazy. I don't know, other people in other places of uh, the U.S. have got it way worse. But, uh, you know, it's still different for us to have this much snow and cold all the time <laughs> but uh yeah i'm looking forward to spring i actually gotta start my garden seeds i'm planning on doing that today um i might take a little video clip to share with you guys uh, but it'll be on the other channel the live channel and you can just start posting on there more often i keep forgetting but um yeah i want to get my seeds started and uh we got a little thing i'll show you on that video <laughs> uh to put them in and uh we were supposed to start them last week but we were real busy and then we went away for the weekend and uh so we gotta get them started Really, Devin should have started his pepper seeds two weeks ago because they take forever to germinate. But, uh, yeah, we'll worry about it. It might just be a later <laughs> harvest this year. But, yeah, I'm definitely growing cuc cucumbers again this year. And um, we're going to try green beans on the porch. We got some bush beans, and I, I watched a ton of videos about people growing them in containers. So I'm excited about that. Because uh, we really, really liked fresh green beans last year. Our in-laws, my in-laws, <laughs> his dad and stepmom, uh, grew them. And they were so good. We were just eating them off the vine. <laughs> they were so good. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm blabbing. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. Because i got to record another video here real quick. And then i got to get some stuff done today. i got to do some cleaning. And i got to do my workout and yoga and all that. It's early here. I just haven't. Um, I just got done cleaning the kitchen and I'll wanted to record real fast <laughs> anyways yeah leave me uh, a comment down below and tell me what you guys are working on this uh today or this week and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video which will be filmed in just a few minutes <laughs> bye guys